Team World, today I'm going to demonstrate how to get some Bitcoin Core test nets to be used for your etching within the Apertus client. This assumes that you've already installed the Bitcoin Core test net. Uh, and if you haven't done that, go ahead and uh, watch the training video that, uh, that demonstrates that within this channel. All right, so to begin, we first have to uh, create an address that we want to send these Bitcoin test net uh, coins to. So to do that, uh, go to File, Receiving Addresses, and I'm going to create a new one. I'm going to call it Test Coins. Okay. Once you've created it, you want to right-click and select Copy Address. Now we need to go out and find a Bitcoin testnet faucet. Uh, faucets are basically free services that uh, uh, give out small amounts of of Bitcoin or whatever coin the faucet is uh, is running on uh, to anyone that goes to the page and is able to uh, answer a challenge message. So let's find a faucet for Bitcoin Core testnet. Uh, I'm going to basically uh, open up the Apertus client, uh, and Apertus does uh, have a fully functioning uh, web browser embedded into it, uh, which it uses to uh, browse websites that are encoded on blockchains, but uh, it can also uh, browse out to just, you know, standard web sites. So we're going to go to Google uh, to find a faucet. And basically the best search terms I have found to use is just Bitcoin testnet faucet. There it is. Uh, and then once, once you've, uh, uh, once your search results have come back, basically you just want to click on uh, on these and and uh, see how many you can find that are still active uh, that will actually give you coins. One of my favorites that uh, I've been using a lot is called the uh, Bitcoin Testnet Sandbox. Uh, so you'll see it's the third result here if you do type in Bitcoin Testnet Faucet. It moves up and down this page. Uh, I usually find it by the sandbox. Is how, is how it kind of stands out for me. I like this one because it uh, returns quite a bit of uh, test nets. Uh, in this scenario, you're going to get actually 12.5 bitcoins uh, for this submission. And uh, if you're doing lots of etching, uh, the bitcoins can uh, can be consumed. However, 12.5 bitcoins is a substantial amount uh, for a Pertis. Uh, so that, that's uh, quite a bit. So you want to take the address that is now in memory and you want to paste it into the address field. Uh, and then uh, each one of these sites is going to have its own way to, to uh, prevent spam. This one is using uh, a reCAPTCHA. So I'll check I'm not a robot. And uh, it's going to ask me to select all images with pancakes. Ooh, fun. So pancake, pancake, pancake. I don't think that's pancakes. And it seems to have worked. Uh, once it's uh, verified that I'm not a robot, we'll click on the Give Me Some Coins button. And we should get, pretty quickly, if you uh, saw this prompt down here, uh, we have already received those 12.5 coins. You'll notice it's in the pending, and it'll stay in pending for up to 10 minutes. Uh, until it moves into the available uh, select selection here. And you will not be able to use it within a Pertus until it does move into this available uh, section here. So that's it. Uh, that is how you receive Bitcoin Core Testnet coins. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.